Well, it has been almost two weeks since an undersea volcano erupted near Tonga. This massive explosion seen from space triggered tsunami waves to hit the nearby communities. And tonight we're getting a closer look at the damage. I spoke to an Oahu resident who's relieved to finally hear from his family in Tonga. We were going through a like, sleepless night and just going through a lot of, of prayer. Siwale Fatafehi says his family lives near the capital of Tonga. The recent volcanic eruption and tsunami cut off communication lines because of damage to an undersea cable. Fatafehi says it was gut-wrenching not hearing from his loved ones for days. Every time, every night, we just go through Facebook and, and see who is, who's going to be on, on their end and zero out, nothing. After almost a week, Fatafehi made contact with his family. They are safe, but his village looks nothing like he remembers. His family finally sending him these photos of the aftermath. I can see the photo. It's like the whole field is flooded. Yeah, yeah. Mm. It's, yeah, water was covered our, our, our village from front to back. Like you can't even see the land. Yeah, yeah. You can see animals swimming, even pigs. And then um, some of these, like these palm trees, they're not green. They're kind of gray now. Yeah, it's just all those uh, volcanic ash are covering it. The ash and tsunami wiping out many of the crops on the island and contaminating the drinking water. Now the Hawaii Red Cross is getting involved. We want to make sure that all of the money that's donated uh, to us and bookmarked for Tongan Relief gets sent to the Tonga Red Cross Society so that they can pay for the emergency supplies they need. And for that, writing out a check and making sure that in the memo line of the check, you write Tongan Relief, that will bookmark all of the money for Tonga. Fata Fehi says while his heart hurts, seeing all the destruction in his hometown, he is beyond thankful his family is safe. To hear my immediate families and to hear stories of our loved ones out there, that they are safe, just, just make us praising, you know, praising God more and more each and every day. Fatafehi says his brother's home was not damaged by the tsunami because it is located on higher ground, but many others weren't so lucky. Even now, his family is still cleaning up all the debris and ash on their properties. Again, if you want to help, you will need to mail in a physical check to the Hawaii Red Cross. We'll put that address on khon2.com.